and the news is still coming in on the Typhon mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right. Good shot. Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. Where do we go from here? After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Do I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. I've got some continued support for you. All right. Where to? Postcard. Is there anything new? Couldn't bring himself to get rid of it. I'm glad he held on to it, for whatever it's worth. Wow. Light in it, view. I know now that my inaction, in the face of injustice, was itself a terrible wrong. And I know that I will never be able to undo the tremendous pain and loss I caused. I do not ask for forgiveness. The only person who could give that to me is... is gone. Thank you. There are no victories at the end of this. Just more painful truth. They say I was powered by adrenaline that whole morning. Now I'm mostly powered by extra strength Advil. Maybe Dad deserved everything he got, but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. All right, up we go. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave, too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... No! Oh, oh it. no. I want to stay here, too. Uh... That was amazing. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah? How'd it feel? You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. All right, just tell me. 
What? My future. What to do? The night of the Spring Fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course, that was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. <laughs> Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. Really? You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, and despite what happened at the vote, people that actually care about you. Why would you give that up? That's true. <sighs> then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. I know. I'd hear something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me begin to fade into the background. Wait, is that Riley?
I'm just saying there's actually music playing at the minute, but obviously we can't hear it. The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe <laughs> while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it. You don't doubt it. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Do what exactly? Become an actual musician? Live in a van? Travel between dingy bars, hawking your SoundCloud? <laughs> Pouring your soul to strangers? Sounds pretty great if you ask me. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So, what do you think? Wait, do we get to choose? Oh. I'm gonna stay. I know what I want. And there's no one else in town. <laughs>
No, that's it. Right. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else at the end, but I'll say my thanks now. I uh, just want to thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you very much for staying to the end of the series. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, really enjoyed the story. Uh, definitely one of my one of the best games I played. Well, in terms of storytelling, one of the one of the best games I played. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me uh, let me know. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.